This is a drinking game. Every time that somebody asks a question that we've already answered, either in this video or a previous video, we are going to drink because we don't got time to be answering the same questions over and over and over again. Like, just go watch the other videos. Duh! Like that girl, like that girl. Apple Hamilton, do you have any future music release plans and does your and does Matt have a favorite song of yours? From Dean Harrington. I do would like to write more music. It was one of my New Year's resolutions. What's my favorite song of yours? I'm guessing probably Supermoon. It's everybody else's. That is one of my favorite songs of yours. Stone in Ojai? I really like Whistle. I think those would be my top three songs. Whistle's not done yet. I've like, been birthing the song for a long birthing. time. Birthing? <laughs> From Teresa Novakova. If there's only one sentence to tell each other, what would it be? Like, maybe it was or maybe like, there's a one sentence to tell because you're gonna die, so it's like the last thing you say to the person? Maybe, let's go with that. So if I had like, if we were never gonna see each other again and we had one sentence left to say to each other, what would it be? That is really hard. I mean, I love you. See you on the other side. I don't know, Teresa. That's a hard question. I don't know, but I'm inserting a new rule. When we can't answer a question, it's another drink. All right. Patrick Keown. At Blue Hamilton, Radio Flag seems like it has a very dark story to it. Is it autobiographical? What's the story there, Blue? I mean, really? More These years I actually years. wrote when I was super depressed. And the demo of it's really slow and sad. So what's the story behind it? Why, why were some of them so dark? I don't know, I just think that's my personality. Yeah, all right, did I all answer right. the question? <laughs> There's another one, the, the next question. Apu Hamilton, why aren't you subscribed to me? From Stevie Blaine. Stevie? We haven't watched your videos yet, Stevie Blaine, but Blue is now subscribed to you. Can you read it? Can you read it? Can you read it? Cheers. From um, Alish Lalani. Abu Hamilton. I'm restating my question. Which one of you proposed and how did you do it? What was her original question? His. His. Sorry, um, Elise. He didn't. It's Ellie. Ellie. Alish. Alish. Alish Lalani. Oh, Alish. Alish Lalani. That's kind of a cool name. It is a cool name. We're not gonna answer the question because that's private. From Terry Warren. What TV shows do you watch? We have talked about this in the past. But, a, but there are more. Ones. Okay. <gasps> I'm Walking Dead, I haven't watched The Walking Dead Cheers, yet. Cheers though, because we have answered this before. You can find the answer to this question on our husband tag. He's obsessed with the 100. You actually tweet people about it. We tweet back and forth because I like it that much. If you're a fan of 100, why don't you comment down below who your favorite character is? And tweet Blue so he has somebody to talk to about it. I go to sleep every night watching a Wes Anderson film. I know it's not really TV, but I watch it like Great it's a Great to fall asleep to, by the way. Which yeah, like, Kingdom or Dark Journey Unlimited? I don't know, like kids drowning in a... Dark Journey Unlimited. Yes. Oh, that's a fun one too. From Brianna Moreau. At the Matt Dallas, when are you going to make a video and I love you? Well, we make videos every week and we post them every Tuesday. When you subscribe, we love you more. All right. What's your name? I feel like I need to do a Brianna Moreau. Brianna Moreau. Ro? Moreau. Moreau. Brianna Ramo? Moreau. Moreau. I, I need to see it. Though. She's 25 and a lesbian. Moreau. All right. What's the next question? The next question is from JC. After Crow, do you guys have ever thinks about others? I mean, his brother's sister's after him. We're kind of letting, I think, the universe do its thing, and uh, if it happens, and it's right. But right now, I think we're just enjoying the moment and the time that we have with our kid. So we'll see. Maybe. Maybe not. Never say never. Never say never again. Next question from Bridget21. At the Matt Dallas, this is on my conscience. Have you been told the gospel message of Jesus? To, to Jesus. Jesus! 
will you guys, or will you one day make a video of you guys riding horses? I know I got horse fever, lol. I mean, you grew up riding horses. I did. Have you, you ever ridden a horse? Have horse? you not seen my groundbreaking films like The Revenge of Wider? Oh, okay. actually, I was on set. I do remember that. <laughs> but I actually kind of remember you having to go through lessons, you know? They made us all take lessons. You know how many times I've been fucked up a horse Jesus. as a kid? We had this one horse, this one mare that um, if you ran her uphill, yeah. she would buck the entire way. All right, from Carrie Black. What has surprised you the most so far about being a parent? I think one of the things that surprised me the most is how much fun I have watching you be a dad. I knew I was gonna have a lot of fun being a dad and I do have a lot of fun. But I w I'm surprised at how much, like how touched I get watching mm. you in your like little, like these little beautiful moments. From Marco Ruddick. Any chance to get a mini series or TV movie of Kyle XY? Fans deserve a proper ending! Exclamation! Would you be up to reprise the role? I agree, I think fans deserve a proper ending. Jean-Luc and Jamie and April and Magda and Shalan and Hal and Marguerite and Bruce, we feel that not only you guys got shit, but we got shit too, guys. We also didn't get closure. We spent more time with these characters and these stories than even you did. Yeah, I think we would all be pretty stoked. Honestly, it's not up to us. It's up to ABC Family. Ah! Uh, free form. Oh, I agree, it sucks, but we've all, you know, sometimes you just gotta move on. I would love to see some closure. From Kelly Petit. Kelly uh, Petit! I saw you were gonna answer some questions. So mine is, can I get a shout out for my mate favorite guys? Kelly! Kelly! Hey Kelly. Next question is from Nezreen. Have you guys ever smoked? Smoke named cigarettes. I actually used to smoke. Started smoking when I was 13, because I thought it was cool. And there was somebody in my life who influenced me and thought it was cool, so I was like, oh, well, I'll smoke. I still smoked when I met you. I don't remember you smoking while we were together. Uh, yeah, you did. I remember, because I would smoke with Abram. I smoked socially for a few years in my early 20s, and then I just, <laughs> it was the same, I just thought it was the grossest thing. But I saw Matt smoke. I'm pretty certain that you threw up. Yeah, gross. Yeah, I hated it. Why do people have two different names on Twitter? Here, one's your name and one's your handle. Kathy Lang. Uh, you say that? My sis is so silly. Have you guys ever did the same thing to your dog? <laughs> <laughs> Our dog won't do that. <laughs> I want to be somewhere where the leaves fall off and just like streets full of just leaves That's that fell off. It's not gonna trees. happen in Phoenix. K-pop. Coop, Coop my bubble. Oh, K-pop my bubble. <laughs> K-pop my bubble. K-pop my bubble. Coop my bubble. Coop my bubble. At the Mad Dallas, how did your lives change after adopting a son? And how is he with your family? I mean, our lives changed pretty significantly. All of a sudden you put a two-year-old in the mix. For us, we were both so used to being able to just calm and go, and now you have a two-year-old to look after. Our family? Our families, like, took to that kid so fast. You still yeah. can't calm him down. They're like trying to all the time take them away to be like, can you come hang out with me? Could it? We're like, <laughs> we want to hang out with our kid. He's watching Thomas and Pussy. Plus, he can't pronounce Percy. A love for all 97 CJ. What would you do if someone was hitting on your significant other? You mean, what do I do? Because it happens all the time. Sometimes you just look at the person and you're like, that person's hot. You go, Matt. <laughs> What can you do? Like, like he's pretty a funny. Son. What are we gonna do? Like, what are what? you gonna do? I Whoa. You wanna say something? You wanna say something? Damn right. I own that shit. At the Mad Dallas, any plans of having another kid? A girl this time, maybe? Cheers, we've already answered that question. Oh, cheers. Uh, no. What is that whipping name in? I don't know how to do it. Let's look it up. Let's whip no, it. I don't want to. Who usually gets their way with things? Duan Lembayam. Uh, who is your partner's greatest phobia? Who? Or what? What? <laughs> it's gotta be something that has to do with not being able to control the situation. Being buried alive. Reading out loud is one of his greatest phobias, and he's doing it for you. In front of a group of people. In front of a group of people, it's just... Oh my god, it's the funniest thing when you're somewhere in public and somebody asks me to read out loud. <laughs> <laughs> when does that oh, ever happen? It has happened. I'm just... I, 
Well, when we were getting certified for, for yeah. our, and then he would get like called on to read aloud, and I just would be inside giggling <laughs> like a little kid. From Duan Lemon Young. What gift that your husband gave you came as the biggest surprise? I know one that, that I can't answer. Oh, which we can't put in there. Ron Felicio. Oh, well, that's not what it says. Ron Felicio. <laughs> From Jamie Lynn Fuller, at the Met Dallas, does it pressure you to be a homosexual parent to the public? I don't know that I feel pressure. I mean, honestly, I don't really think about it. I Sometimes when we're, it's the three of us together, I think about, do these people know that we're a family? Do we know that, that we're both the dads? Um, but if anything, like, I feel more proud and I feel, I don't know, I feel proud that we're able to hopefully change some people's perspective, like to give a different perspective and change some people's minds. And hopefully people will look at it like when they see us in public and say, hey, those are two happy guys and they're doing a decent job at raising their kid. I don't really pay attention. I don't really care. Yeah. Like you can't be focused on that. You gotta be focused on your job. And our job is to parent and pay attention to him and be there for him, not what other people are looking at and paying attention to us. Yeah. From Eli at Classic Square, if you could change one thing about each other, what would you change? Probably the amount that you fart. My flatulence? Yes. It's one of my most attractive features. You know when I go to edit this, you're not going to be okay with me keeping that in there. I would probably change your uncontrollable smacking of lips when you eat. <laughs> And yeah, when you I mean, do that like, thing with your stomach and you hear like the <laughs> He you makes get, the grossest noises the liquid And he's mad stomach. about me farting Which everybody farts But this guy's like <laughs> Everybody makes those noises Stop it! I can hear it right <laughs> now, stop Jay Guzman Goo. Who is your favorite Disney character and why? <gasps> oh my gosh Character? Can we just make it a movie? No, what's your favorite character? Bell. I love Beauty and the Beast, hands down. I, I do love Beauty and the Beast. Good. I love Lumiere. I always wanted to be Lumiere and Aladdin. <laughs> I always wanted to be Aladdin growing up. Uh, there's too many to choose. Lion King is really good too. When are they gonna release that? I know. We gotta let our kid. We gotta get our kid watching Lion King, and we don't have Disney. a copy of it. Stop with the vault. Stop with the vault. You're depriving my two-year-old of Lion King. Not only two-year-old, I don't remember the last time it was out. Somewhere, like, I feel like somebody would say something We need something a copy of Lion King. Lion King, y'all. All of the Disney movies. We have a whole collection of every yeah, Disney movie. Yeah, we need movie. them all. Good question, though, Jay. From Daigbo or at Yuchin Wakeisle. Would you guys adopt a child of color, non-white, if one was a good match like Crow was? When you go through the adoption process or part of getting certified, you fill out this giant pamphlet of all the things that you're open to. And for race, we were open to any ethnicity. All right, Castile. Uh, you guys always go on dream vacations. <coughs> Sedona. Where do you plan on going next? I think where I really want to go next is India. I'd love to go to Alaska, Iceland. We have answered everything. this question. We answered this question in TikTok. I'm empty. From Fabu Trash. Abu Trash. Favorite Mariah Carey song and why? Pinching my leg with a chair! What's your favorite Mariah Carey song? Fantasy, the old Dirty Bastard remix. 90, 90s Mariah Carey. So many, yeah, old ODB remix uh, from Bob Hatcher. The name Crow obviously has a special meaning for you in blue. What is the special meaning? We'll probably go into more depth about it. Why are we eventually. going into more depth about it? Now? I don't know. Later on down the road, will you guys adopt again? A lot of those. I can't. I'll take another one. B. Gallant, Ask Matt and Blue, what is the best life advice you could ever give somebody? Remember, life is short, so have some fun. Follow your dreams. Make your happiness. Believe in who you are. Be present. That's true. Don't burn bridges. Jellica Freeman, what do you guys think is the key to a happy life and why? Being happy with what you have. But just being a good person is the key the to a happy to a happy yeah. life. It I mean, really is. I a agree. Happy life, right? If you're a happy, genuine, good person, you you put out that energy, you will receive that energy from the universe in return. I mean, I think you will receive bad energy. energy. Let's not talk about energy and karma, but like, but just in general, like you just it. do. You feel better about yourself. You don't realize how much better you feel about yourself if you're a good and kind person. If you're not a good and kind person, you don't realize what that does to you inside. So stop being assholes, y'all. Don't be an asshole. From Jenny, or at Jenny, he he hi. 
<laughs> if you were a part of the Avengers, what would you want to be and why? I don't want to be Thor. Would you survive a zombie apocalypse? Oh my god, with the amount Hell of... Hell yeah. I know what outfit I'm going to put on. I outfit. know what This is what you're worried about. You're worried about clothes? I feel like we would be really good in the zombie apocalypse. Are you kidding me? We, like, we would we slay. Double Rick. You better not turn into Rick or I'm leaving you. What is that? Rick has kept everybody alive. He's also, and now he's in he a also, biracial relationship. He, all right, here's one from Angela Trulio. What made you move back to Phoenix away from the limelight? To be around family, to put our focus and energy into starting a family. Will you film a house tour? It looks amazing. No. From Raxid or at Lazy Reef. Between being a wizard or a vampire, which would you choose and why? I think I'd go with wizard. Right. This is Anna. Right. Thoughts on Leo winning an Oscar? Get it, son. He worked hard for that Oscar. One of the comments in the last video was, she's blue, are you on your period? <laughs> I said that. <laughs> somebody, said, said, no. somebody said I was grumpy. I think you were supposed to be asked, looking for questions as well. No, I'm still staring down the person that asked me if I was on my period. Oh my gosh, there's so many questions. We're running out of battery. We're running out, We're running of, battery. out of time. We gotta go feed our kid. So we hope you enjoyed our Q and A. Q and A. Thank you for the questions. Thank you for the questions. Sorry to all the people that we didn't get to. We love you guys and. Subscribe, share, so like, right. hashtag. What was that? There is some weird shit happening inside. We have to go investigate. Love y'all. He is back. He's back. Bye. Why can't I have a drink of beer? You can, but when you've been sipping it every single time you talk. I'm having a good time. <laughs>